Hello, my name is Ted Lederer, and you're watching another episode of It's All About Art. And today we're in conversation with Christian Nicolay at his Vancouver studio. Christian, thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming, Ted. Yeah. So, Christian, you have an upcoming exhibition at the gallery that is a collaborative show. You're from Vancouver, and you're collaborating with a Taiwanese artist, Yatsu Kang. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, we've been collaborating for a couple of years now, and uh, this show we're going to be working a uh, collaborative drawing that we're doing together. We also uh, did a collaborative video. Um, we're going to do some um, installation in the gallery, uh, uh, working together. We'll also have, uh, Yatsu will have some of her individual works, and I'll have some of my individual works as well. Um, but we're working together on the same theme. Primarily playing with the idea of safety and cultural borders, uh, cultural landscapes, uh, the mixing and merging of them, or, you know, how we identify ourselves, how other people identify us, being a portable wall, our identity shifts depending on where you are. These are just some of the ideas that we're thinking about. And you work in different mediums, or some different mediums. Mm -hmm. Well, Yatsu's, uh, her major was in sculpture, and uh, she's uh, done a lot of stuff with installation. And I've dabbled with that a little bit, but I also work with sound and, and I do more drawing. And so we're, uh, we, we seem to work really well together and we have uh, work with a lot of recycled materials. We collect different uh, detritus from you know, our various geographical landscapes and, and accumulate that stuff and put, bring it together. And <clears throat> so we work in the same way um, in a lot of ways. The process. I know that part of the time Yatsu is here in Vancouver, and part of the time she's in Taiwan or other places. So how does that, the, the actual process of collaboration when you're in two different locations, how does that work? Uh, very slowly. Um, we're mailing stuff back and forth all the time. I mean, we're in, in constant contact. Uh, I'll do something and, and send it to her and, and then she'll send it back. And it's kind of like a developing uh, film. You know, you, you, you kind of forget right. what, what you've done until you develop the film and, and then you go, oh yeah, that's, that's what happened. Now, Yatsu's in uh, Taiwan now, and I know that there will be a second part to this video after Yatsu comes back and the show is installed at the gallery because there'll be many installation pieces yeah, many that of we the, can't show now. Many of the works uh, we'll be making on site in the gallery, uh, playing with the space and uh, painting on the walls and, you know, little details of things here and there. And so, I mean, that, that, there's, that's one thing, you know, working in the studio and is one thing, but once you actually get into a space, uh, you know, a lot of editing takes place, maybe something you thought worked, uh, might not. Now we happen to be standing in front of a collaborative piece. Maybe speak to me a little bit about the piece behind us. Uh, well, this is uh, titled Safety Instructions. Um, it, it accumulates with, the, there's so many uh, rules and regulations that are quite absurd. I mean, in, uh, in a world where, you know, you have to label everything, caution, hot beverage, you know, because if someone spills it, then, you know, lots of really ridiculous lawsuits and things like that. And, and I just think we're getting overprotective. And so this piece kind of just speaks to that. All right. So these are, this is an example of the type of collaborative work. And there's many other types of examples in a, in a lot of the sculpture and installation work, of course, will be collaborative. Uh, let's wander over to uh, some of the work that's on the wall that's Yatsu's mm -hmm. and talk just a little bit about that because there's some very different mediums. So I'm going to follow you. Mm -hmm. Christian, talk to us a little bit about you know the piece behind us and up here and because it's different medium and it's and it's obviously very different than what we we're just looking at. Tell me just a little bit, at the risk of speaking on behalf of her, tell me a little bit about the, what we're looking at. Um, well, this is what Yatsu likes to call a felt painting. And so she's, okay. instead of painting with paint, she's using layers of wool and then soap and water to mix them together. And then she's also hand sewing and uh, putting it through a sewing machine uh, to, to layer more thread and color. Her felt paintings are mostly about um, the layering of wool and using that material and then the layering of, of more wool and thread on top. Right, they were, they were very lovely. This is an example of the type of work that uh, that Yatsu will have. Many other works, of course, as well. Yeah, and she, she's in tai, Taiwan right now. And she'll right. be bringing back a lot more of her sculptural stuff. She, she works a lot with, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, with recycled materials like uh, coffee filters or paper material that she'll sew into sculptural forms, uh, clothes, bags, um, speaking about the environment often. But uh, 
Yeah, I'd, I'd like her to say more about that. It's interesting. It's no wonder you're such a good collaborative team because for your whole art practice, and as long as I've known you, which is now 10 years plus, you've always used bits and pieces that you found and incorporated them into your artwork. So it seems like a very good fit. And, and also you, I mean, it's interesting because you have two shows, and you've always, or not always, but for a very long time, incorporated sewing in your work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, th this is actually um, something I just finished. It's a, a wallet uh, that I've made out of all of my parking tickets and collect <laughs> uh, collection letters. Um, so it's, it's a self-portrait. I, I was looking at all of these collection letters and, and parking tickets, and I thought, well, if I, I sewed them into an empty wallet, then that would sort of not... Speak volumes. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. We're back in front of the collaborative piece. Uh, what else do we, the viewers, need to know about this upcoming exhibition? Uh, it's all new work, and it's uh, a, a bigger uh, collection of, of collaborative work that we've been doing together, and we're also looking forward to showing our work um, in Austria in the fall, uh, as well as other shows in Taiwan coming up. So we're getting the wheels going, and, and uh, this show is, is a good example of, of the type of collaborative work that we're doing now that's new work that we're, we'll be also continuing uh, in the future. And I know this will be a highly anticipated show. Thank you for having us here Thanks, today. Thanks, yeah, It's great to be here. Cheers. My name is Ted Lederer. I've been in conversation with Christian Nicolay about his upcoming show, Portable Walls. That opens March 29th uh, at the Elliott Lewis Gallery. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again very shortly. Bye for now. Cheers.